don't think anyone's going to pop in immediately, but, uh, so how have you been? So for anyone who's in here, this is my friend Jason. He's just chilling with me on Discord. Say hi, Jason. What's up? Yeah. What's up, everybody? No. Jason used to suck at Melee about, like, a year or two years ago. He can't, he probably still sucks at it, technically, I but... I still suck, yeah. He reached the point where he is no longer free to my Mewtwo, which a lot of people that have been playing for more years than him are still free to my Mewtwo. So, he gets props for that. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty fun when I was able to do that. Yeah, you can. It was only one night, though, but yeah. No, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so, he's... The, uh, Jason's kind of like the closest thing I've ever had to a protege, though really, for the most part, a lot of his shit's pretty self-taught. If he ever had, like, if he was ever confused about something, he would ask me about it, and I would try and lead him in the right direction and tell him what to concentrate on, but really, he's just, uh, he's pretty self, he does everything kind of by himself. So, how, how have you been? Pretty shitty. Um, so... Yeah, me too. Me too, to be honest. Yeah, so... Uh, the short story of everything is... Uh, I broke up with my girlfriend about... A, a little bit ago. Like, about a little bit over a week ago. And really, it's not a... It's not a big deal at this point. And I wish well. I don't have any malice towards her. So, yeah. it's all it's all good. And but what the only concern I had with that is I thought I was fired from my job effectively, but it turned out I still have my job, so that's a good thing. Um, that's good. Yeah, so I can continue with my current plan of basically I have work during the week, and then I can actually go to Smash tournaments on the weekends, and that's really nice for me at least. So. So you're still you're still living in Savannah, right? Yeah, I'm still living in Savannah right now. Uh, it still and, sucks, but. And where do you work? Uh, I work for, I work for a company. I'd rather <laughs> this is gonna go on like YouTube. I'd rather just not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll not really it. yeah. So, yeah. So I I teach math. That's all you need to know, essentially. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So, it's everything's going pretty yeah. well, all things considered. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happier now. Had a, you know, had a bit of a week of breakup blues and whatnot, but, uh, th things are much better now. It's still a bit rough. PPMD, you look different. Thank you, daddy dandy. What's going on? So that's pretty much everything going on with my life, but not much really more to say about that. I don't know. Like, Okay. Yeah. So, so we, I mean, we so, can we can move on to yeah, the, yeah, yeah. while so, we're here. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so Smash Ultimate. There, there's like a big. Uh, everyone's excited for it. I'm excited for it. Like, I, now let me let me get my initial impression off of everything. I am looking forward to playing this game. This game is actually going to come out for at CE. It's going to be at CEO, and I am so looking forward to getting a chance to try it out especially since like Mewtwo actually looks pretty, pretty decent good. I'm moving twitch chat so that I look in the direction of my camera so <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to the game as a whole because I re I did like Smash 4 I actually don't think Smash 4 is as bad as a lot of melee players would make it out to be it's not, it wasn't melee though. And obviously like nothing will be melee at this point. I don't, I'm not, I, let me, let me get that off my chest too. Nintendo, if you ever yeah. see this for whatever reason, I am not expecting you guys to make melee 0 0.5. I'm not expecting melee 2.0. I'm not expecting anything melee related. In fact, I'm pretty hyped that directional air dodging made its way back in the first place whatsoever. Even though really wave landing and wave dashing are both really bad. I don't, I don't want those. I actually don't need them. The reason people like Melee is that of how fluid it feels and how fluid it looks. It, when you feel like you have to fight the game is when the Melee players are having a problem. And ever since after Melee, the, you've had to fight the game. Like, And a big thing people talk about is dash dancing. And, you know, you can make arguments about why dash dancing is good, why dash dancing is bad. You know why Melee players really like it? It's because when you press left, you move left. And when you press right, you move right. That's really all it came down to. We don't like, uh, like, Melee players don't like having to fight the game system to move left and right. That's part of the reason, like, 
that whole hack what what is it called ucf that's the whole reason yeah, UCF, ucf is a big factor is because they people don't like fighting the game and people don't mind if the game is hard as long as it feels like you aren't fighting the game itself so thank you oracana for the host by the way oh no. um so one of my questions for you is uh kind of getting into into what you were talking about um what what do you think about um, the fact that you can do anything out of a dash. That's like a really good move. I know they don't really want to incorporate dash dancing, and my reason for... And so, I hate to go back to dash dancing immediately, but the reason they won't bring back dash dancing is that, like, if you have a character that does... that has moves that are really fast, but they only deal 1%, but then you have another character, and the character's moves are really slow, but they kill you in one hit. Technically, the character that's fast is actually a better character, even though like the numbers are really shitty. And that's because speed conceptually always beats power. That is just that is a universal fact over the course of multiple games. And the best characters are usually the ones that have both speed and power. Take a look at historically good Smash 4 characters. You have, like, Diddy back when he could down throw U-Air and actually kill at, like, 70. And it was always a combo tool, and it was always combo... And, like, it was just always good. And he got to keep his speed, and he got to kill people. I mean, Sheik. Sheik had kill setups. She lost a lot of them, and it did make her a worse character. You have Bayonetta. Bayonetta's not a slow character. She's not the fastest character, but she's not a slow character. And then she kills you for touching Q if you don't DI correctly. There's Cloud obviously fast i mean if i i bet you if i were to take a bring up a list of like the tier list for smash for wii u or pretty much any game historically faster characters are better than slower characters just thinking about the top two characters in melee of being fox and marth like you can make an argument but those characters don't have like marth's move obviously can kill at really early percent and fox is a really strong up smash yeah that's probably why they're the best characters in the game because they're strong and fast and the reason i went into that whole ordeal just now is because dash dancing so speed is important and yeah. in a game where speed is pretty much dictated by how fast you can run being able to control where you run without a limitation is super strong so I understand that Nintendo doesn't want to go into detail of like, well, we're going to make this guy's like initial dash animation really low, but make his run really fast or something like that. Like they don't want to look at all these factors. They just rather not have dash dancing because dash dancing takes the best attribute you can give a character and makes it even better. So I understand that dash dancing won't come back. And now, now going... when, you're, when you're saying dash dancing won't come back, you mean... Like the he literally the pressing left, it. the literally yeah, literally the yeah. the 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 style mm -hmm. that happens in melee and Smash sixty four won't won't come back. You will not literally be able to press left and then right and then left and then right during any part of your initial dash animation. That just will not happen. So what's the like? Because I never actually looked into Smash four too much. So and uh, from what I'm hearing, like I watched like some videos at times, and I watched like all the videos during E three. Um, what are they doing when uh, they're playing like Marth or um, uh, what is it? Uh, That's called so so. Th Smash Four players are actually calling that dash dancing. Yeah, melee they are. melee players will call that fox trotting. And fox okay, so they're literally just fox trotting. Yeah, they're they. It's effectively fox trotting, but it looks like much better fox trotting. Like it looks, it's yeah. something in between dash dancing and fox trotting. They still have to go through their initial dash animation, but not all the way through their dash animation. They just can't cancel the dash early, it looks like. Which... Got it, okay. Yeah, because, I mean, you play melee, for example, and, like, if you run and press shield, you'll cancel... No matter what part of your dash you're in, you will cancel your dash with your shield, right? Hmm. In Smash 4, if you dash and then shield, you have to go through your full initial dash animation before your shield comes up. But is that this? Uh, isn't that changed in Ultimate? Because now you can do anything out of. You dash. still have to go through the very initial part of your dash animation before your shield comes up. Oh really? So like. Yeah. So like, like if you started it and then you tried to shield like right away, it's probably not going to yeah. come out. The like... the cool thing that they did in Smash Ultimate is that 
So there's a point, and so when you do a dash, you still have to dedicate to like most of the dash. But then there's a point towards the end where the game, where, if I understand this correctly, again, I have not read this. I don't have practice with the game whatsoever. Yeah. But the way I read it as you press your dash animation and then you input a move, and the game like keeps track of if you've inputted a move, and if you've inputted a move, it does that move at the end at the soonest possible point of like that dash. So like, and the move can be another dash. So if you press left and then halfway through the dash you press right, as soon as you can turn right, it will make you run right. So that's kind of cool. So again, cool. it's stuff we have to play around with, and I need to hold it before I do anything. But so it's completely different from anything we've seen before. Yes, it is. is that it's a very so in melee so melee could do the same thing though like in melee technically you can do everything smash 4 is allowing you to do like something sometimes it, per it requires like perfect tas controls to be able to do it so i don't think most of it's realistic but like doing something like dash forward up tilt isn't realistic in melee because it's you have to do pivot up tilts and that's like impossible especially without tap jump yeah or especially with tap jump and so it's just going to be interesting. It's definitely different. It definitely yeah. is catering to the notion of giving us movement options. And it's like, a, it's very intentional. And I look forward to seeing what it does. And I think it's a very good choice. It's like the second best choice if they're never going to let us have dash dancing is my honest opinion on it. So I think it was a good, it was a good step in the right direction with that. Okay, cool. So moving back to like the, what we were talking about with wave dashing and uh wave landing wave and dashing and wave landing are completely unnecessary i think that's like yeah. i would love it don't get me wrong i i watched our do you, think, I, do you I, think there's a chance that it could possibly they could possibly put it like in where it's working or do you i like, think what, they like, i think if you want my honest opinion if they decide yeah. They're gonna do something with wave dashing, wave landing, because Sakurai 100% knows about it. He's actually talked about wave dashing in interviews before. If yeah. they decide moving forward, they're going to do anything with it. It's not gonna be as good as melee, which is fine. I don't think it needs to be as good as melee. Something I kind of wish they would do is so you know how like they did this shortcut thing where they're like pressing X plus A at the same time. That's a short hop aerial. Yeah, that's a short hop aerial. Now imagine if pressing x plus r or pressing x plus l was like if you do it together at the same time you wave dash and it's like what's wave dashing it's this new tech we put in our game they don't have to talk about how it was in melee they can just say hey look at what we invented and put into the game and you know all the mail none of the melee players would be upset if they called it something they created because effectively it's nintendo's game anyway they did create it so well i mean i'm sure there'd be some haters who would for some reason say some stupid stuff online but yeah Mm -hmm. Most most people would just be like, oh yeah, that's that's cool. Put that in there. Haters gonna hate and all that usual jazz. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, and so now, yeah, referring to what I I don't think wave dashing wave lane need to be in. Like, if melee didn't have wave dashing in it, it would still be the best Smash game in the series. It would look very different compared to what we have now, but like. Fox and Falco would still be good if they couldn't wave shine. They would just do like shine aerial on shield instead, or like they would still do movement with shine. It would just be a very different game we would be looking at, obviously, because. But I think the speed of which characters like move and fast fall, and the fact you can serve momentum when you jump, and so many factors like make melee, make what most people consider melee to be the best Smash game, like. I think so, it's actually I think it's actually a really shitty game. I think Melee sucks. But <laughs> but it feels really good to play and it looks really good to watch. And that's like the key. Yeah, it's that's a that's great it. spectator sport. Because yeah. here's the thing, I haven't even really played Melee in like a year. Um, but I like every Sunday I would check to see if there's like a big tournament on and I still get into it like just as a spectator thing like more than any other game that I can even think of. A lot of it has like... to do with Melee has, like, especially since, like, the scene's been going on for 17 years at this point, there's a lot of history that happens with the game. But... Yeah. 
So what do you what do you think about the fact that like Zero and like Armada? I'm not sure if you've seen any of Zero. Stuff, I've, I've been like... watching almost all of their videos. So oh, yeah, if okay, you've yeah. if you've watched both of their videos, they both have a video of top things we want in Smash Five, right? And yeah. um, there's a bunch of different things they wanted. Both of them actually said wave dashing and wave landing. And while I do think. It would be. I think they wouldn't hurt the game by being put in, but or at least being made cleaner than they are now, because technically both are in the game. They're both just laggy, and I don't mind them. Yeah. Being, and I don't mind like, okay, if you don't want to make them an option, whatever. I guess they're just not going to be in the game. But at least make the rest of the game feel better to play. That's all. That's all I'm asking for. Like, yeah. Okay. Wave... So let's get in, let's get into like the things that you want us that you think need to be better, and like things that you saw that don't look very good for the game all right so the number one thing that bothered me across watching the entire game and something and now it has an official term it's referred to as the balloon effect Do you i know, knew you're gonna say that, that yeah. literally i hate the balloon yeah. effect I hate, I hate it too i, I hate, hate the balloon effect because what i think the balloon effect is doing is it's giving a fake illusion of more hits done i've heard people talk about this game it says say there is more hit stun, and I think that's false. I think it's because of the way the hit stun is working. It's giving a fake impression that there's more hit stun. And as a specific example, um, I watched Zero play Mar D Mario, and he did down throw up tilt, and he tried to do a second up tilt, and uh, Leo playing Sonic nared him afterward. So the next time, yeah, they, they can act so quickly. Yeah, and so the next yeah. time that the situation came up. I think Zero did down throw, up tilt, and then shielded, and then nared, and then he got a re-grab afterward. It was like, that's a Brawl-style read that happened. Get yeah. Brawl out of the game. I don't care if Smash <laughs> 4 is in the game. Don't fucking let yeah. Brawl in here. I don't... Fuck Brawl. Get Brawl the fuck out of my game. I, that, I'm that i pissed thinking that Brawl's in my fucking game. Yeah. Get, get yeah. Brawl the fuck out. Brawl is a mistake. Well, I mean, shit, there's Brawl characters in the game. So. I don't give a shit. Brawl characters are fine. You could bring Brawl yeah. Meta Knight in, but if, like, the rest of the cast is, like, as fast... The thing is, is Meta Knight and Brawl was the only meta melee character in the game. So then, like, if every yeah, character sure. kind of felt like a melee... Like, I, I like to joke around that... Samus and Meta Knight should have been in opposite games. Like Samus and Melee should have been a Brawl character, and Meta Knight and Brawl should have been a Melee character. I, I like the joke about that. But That's um, fun. so yes, uh, so yeah, for, get, for for Nintendo people, so here. for Nintendo people that are listening to this, if you have no idea, or for anyone that watches this, for people who don't know what the balloon effect it is, rewatch the vods of people playing Smash Four. And you're going to notice that people get hit by moves, and they and like you've watched melee, and I, uh, you, you, Jason, you're not seeing me, but I'm sure you could like characters yeah, like float, characters like float to where they're going, and I could talk about what that allows. It allows more combos and stuff because like you watch foxes and melee do a nair plane. They're like they nair and then they nair again, and they nair before you get out of hit stun before traveling to the end. And what's happening is is that characters are traveling to the end of their hit stun and just stopping and just stopping and then they can usually act immediately out of it and i don't like that i would prefer i think where characters are going from moves is like i think that's an arbitrary argument i like i can make an argument that i think characters aren't dying when they should at times and i think they're dying too soon at random other times like i can make that argument but i'm not going to make that argument instead I think you should I think the balloon effect should either be significantly reduced. It is so strong right now. It needs to be either significantly reduced or removed. It does not need to be as strong as it is right now cuz characters are literally teleporting to the end of moves. And no, this no, isn't when you say and, strong, wait 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 wait, mean... wait 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 wait. And no, it's not <laughs> just when they're at high percent or when they're getting hit by a strong move. I watched someone with Mario do a dash attack at like 12% and the character did, like, the balloon effect really high up. And I was like, what? No, that's not a strong move. That's not a str that's not high percent. That's just an effect in the game. Please don't let that continue to be. Like, it so can't... when you're saying strong, you're saying the effect being strong. Not no, no, like no. a strong option. No, like a strong... Both. I'm talking about oh, them. Both? I'm, okay. I'm using different context. I'm using the word strong in different contexts. In one I phrase, I'm talking about a strong move. The... 
the balloon effect does not yeah. happen because it gets hit by a strong move. The balloon effect happens due to a character flying a certain distance, essentially. And I think that needs to be reduced. I, I, prefer, ha I prefer watching a character fly, like, to the end. And then when you do that, Nintendo, if Nintendo is watching, if Nintendo, if you do that, you're going to have to add more hits done. Because right now, your game actually doesn't have very much hits done, but characters are flying to the end of their thing. I remember Meta Knight and Brawl, if you threw Meta Knight with certain characters, he would dare you out of the move as a punish. Because he was out of hits done faster than the other character was. And he was the yeah. one being thrown. Do you know how dumb yeah, that sounds? The hits, the hits done seems really weird in the old what I was watching. Yeah, I actually think hits done is so. If we talk, if we define hits done as the amount of frames a character cannot move after being hit, I think there is less hits done in Smash in Smash Ultimate than there is in Smash Four. But, 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 in if you think about it, if you take the balloon effect into account. I think characters are flying farther before they can do anything. Before, like, you understand what I'm saying? Characters are moving farther distances before they can do an input. But yeah. because of the balloon effect and the, because they're traveling to the end instantly. So, I have a theory that the Instant balloon effect... I, I, I have a theory that the balloon effect isn't intentional. It could be it's a glitch. Maybe it's not a glitch. I think or, uh, or I think it's in, I think it's the... incomplete. I think like the yeah. traveling speed, the algorithm for traveling speed and like how far they travel has it just hasn't been completed yet. And maybe like that'll be fixed in a later point as we'll see in the demos over time hopefully or maybe in the final product. I don't know. Yeah. But I hope that over time like they fix that. But then once they do that, they're going to have to add more hits done. Because right now, the lack of hits done looks really frustrating to me. But And do, do you think that also applies to, like, throws and stuff? Because I know that, like... I, I think, think they're trying to I think they're trying it. to remove throw combos. And that's a design yeah. decision. I will never fault them for a design decision like that. But like, what about, like, tech chasing on platform? Like, a lot of that stuff's I really saw, I saw I saw Armada talk about it. And Armada was stating, like... He would prefer it if throws, like, at least made characters land on platforms. And he used Marth or Peach and Melee as an example where they up throw, and yeah. the characters land on a platform afterward. And I kind of agree. Like, yeah, yeah, effectively at that point, you're like, it's just effectively a combo. And I still think they're trying to get rid of combos from throws. And, okay. but maybe throws can be. The thing is, is like the reason throws are important for Nintendo to understand as well as for anyone who's watching to understand is that if throws aren't strong and we don't get combos off of throws, then shielding becomes oppressive because the risk versus reward means that if we get grabbed, we don't care. So it's just we'll shield. Because yeah, the I, kinda, I felt like I saw that during the, uh, the invitation, right? Like there were times where you could tell like, because of the balloon effect and all the things we've been talking about, uh, like Zero would get grabbed and, and he would shield, and he knew that he wasn't going to get punished too hard for it. Um, you are correct. On the other hand, edge guarding is significantly better in Smash Ultimate. So maybe these positions, because uh, yeah, uh, uh, that, well, not not as good as melee, obviously, but but, but it's significantly better than any other than than probably in Smash Four. Yes, it's better than that Brawl way. and Smash Four, probably. It's, yeah. It might not be as good as Brawl, but it's really hard to be better than Brawl when, like, Meta Knight was the king of edge guarding in that game. And you also had oh, edge, yeah. you also had edge hogging in Brawl still, which ledge trumping's back. I don't like ledge trumping. I hope that if you keep ledge trumping in, y'all make it so that, like, so my big issue with ledge trumping in Smash 4 actually has nothing to do with two people having the ledge at the same time. It's that if I up B to the ledge and I buffer an input, I will always get that input off. There is no way to force me off the ledge with ledge trumping. I think that if ledge, I think ledge trumping needs to be made better for the person do, attempting to do the trump. Because then you start getting a bunch of timing mix-ups involved with ledge trumping. And you can even yeah. have scenarios where if, so, if someone thinks you're going to recover early and then you ledge trump them, or they try to ledge trump you so they go down early, and then they go, oh shit, and then you up B with like Marth, 
and then it ledge trumps them off stage, and then you bear them off stage, and it's like, haha, I mixed you up, so now I get the ki now I get a chance at killing you, sort of thing. And like, there's an argument I don't, if I don't that like would, it either. yeah, I, there there's an argument whether that would be too much chaos involved with the game if you could do all of that that I just listed. But I think it's worth testing. I think it would create more dynamic and interesting edge guard scenarios than what like the ledge trapping scenarios that Smash Four has. So, was there anything I was talking about? So, landing on platforms. Yeah, you're, um, you're talking about the, the shielding thing. Uh, okay, the, so so uh, you were you were mentioning that in the Smash Invitational, uh, zero shielded a lot, and that is true. But you do have to take into account that shielding is really really good in Smash Four. I think shielding is better yeah. in Smash Four than it is in Smash Ultimate, and you and, and you have to realize that Smash Ultimate is more similar to Smash Four than it is to Melee, obviously. And then yeah. on top of that, you had two professional Smash Four players on stage, so yeah. they're gonna pro. So if there are gonna be any players that make Smash Ultimate look like Smash Four, it was going to be those two players. Or That's sorry, true. did I say it the other way? Uh, if, if any players that were gonna make Smash Ultimate look like Smash Four, it was going to be Zero and and MK Leo. Yeah. yeah. When, so when people are like, "Oh, this looks exactly like Smash Four, well. I bet you, when Brawl first came out, people thought it was like, I remember Mewtwo King was like talking about all his in-depth combo, Marth combos he could do in that game, and then later on he was just like, oh wait, never mind, no combo works in this game. Met meta Knight. <laughs> well, people didn't really think that you could just yeah. mash the air dodge button and get out of literally any combo. So, yeah, over time it just became really, really bad. Uh, So, an interesting thing I want to talk about is people have been talking about shield stun and people are saying they want slightly more shield stun and i don't think shield stun is actually the right way to go so they reduce landing lag on a lot of aerials so if you delay aerials as far as i know people have been saying that delayed aerials on shield are already safe on shield so i think that's like a good way of going about it yeah i saw that i, I heard people were saying that like ganon ganondorf's nair or something is like like really really good on shield like so if you so shield. there's like there's a clip somewhere of Ganondorf shuffling nares and it's fast as fuck, boy. So I yeah. would just I would just recommend was... like looking that up because that clip of Ganon nairing is actually pretty impressive in terms of how fast Ganon is in that game. Like when I was watching, I was watching like some matches of Zero uh, and Leffen, and um, mm -hmm. getting to see that in like high quality and actually getting to see like how fast like like I think Leffen was playing like either Cloud and Zero was playing Marth or something like that. Uh huh. That and that's when what I was. Yeah, when I was watching the Marth, it's you can tell it 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 almost actually is like closer to melee in that respect. Like when he would land with fares and like do fares, like it seemed like very low landing lag, mm -hmm. like really low. Yeah, they definitely reduce the landing lag on almost everything, and it's great, and I like that, and I think that's a good thing. But yeah. people are talking about that shielding is too good still, and yeah. I think that's correct. I do think shielding is too good. I don't think shield stun is the correct way to modify that. So I think the important thing to take from what I'm about to say is that shields are non-committal as a whole. Like in Smash 4, they were non-committal. In Brawl, they were non-committal. In Melee, they also weren't really committal. But in Melee, if you didn't have wave dashing, they would have been committal. Because the thing is, is like, if I wanted to drop my shield in forward smash as any character in melee, that takes forever, right? It's just yeah. faster to wave dash out of shield in the forward smash. Um, in Brawl and Smash 4 and in Ultimate, being able to move after dropping shield is pretty almost instant, right? Yeah. I think that needs to get changed. I think there needs to be a little bit more lag for just dropping shield. That would make the shield a little bit more of a dedication when people yeah. go for it. And I think then it would be fine. But I think the reduced landing lag on aerials is... Oh, a game. I thought this stream was about smashing... I'm sorry. No, this is about me talking about... Uh... This is... Smash Ultimate. <laughs> yes, yeah, talking about Smash Ultimate. I literally forgot. I got really excited for the strawberry I'm about to eat. Wait, what was, what was your stream title? Or what's your stream title? Talking about Smash and Life Plans... Oh. You know, I have it listed as an uh, in real live stream. So, mm -hmm. um, 
So I think the she I think shield dropping needs a couple of extra frames added to it. I think. So actually, I was gonna ask you. So can you shield drop in Smash Four? You can. Yes. It is how does a, it How does it work? Is it? It's not the same as melee, is it? No, it's not the same as melee. Um, it's different in Brawl, Smash okay. Four, and Smash Ultimate. You shield drop the same way in all three of those games. I don't. And how know. is that? I don't oh. know. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. I was gonna look it up. I was actually gonna look it up. Uh, don't, I don't. Now. I don't care D yeah. right now. Like it's not. Yeah, a, I don't either. Yeah. So that's why I'm not gonna look it up. But I and I don't think it's such a big deal that people need to like really focus on it. Like, however, we yeah. shield drop in Smash or in Smash Ultimate is how we should shield drop in Smash Ultimate. Yeah. So, um, I guess moving on to like, like, uh, I, I wanna maybe start with like effects and like things that have changed like just like for example the smoke clouds and like i think the smoke things. clouds are really cool so i think if you do the if you reduce the i think the smoke clouds are partially so like they're so vivid right now right and i think they're vivid yeah. because of how strong this balloon effect was that i was talking about earlier okay so you think it might change yeah, I, yeah think... I, I think it's a little bit too much like, I think, I eyes. think, especially when you start getting to like eight player free for alls, you're gonna have a person like forward smash another character, and there's gonna, and if you have like a bunch of clouds all over the place, and you have items, and it's a big stage, that's a lot of, in the gaming development industry, we call that visual noise. So it's just a lot of visual noise going about, and it's, and it's very distracting to some people, especially people with ADD get heavily distracted by stuff like that so i i would yeah. like to think in the final product sure. it will be much less than what it is currently so i and, hope so yeah because i actually i like the idea of having like a puff of smoke like with a character flying i thought that was like really cool and the puff of smoke the color of it is the character that knocked you away yeah so i think that's a cool effect and i think the effect should stay it maybe should be significantly lighter than what it is now and if it doesn't stay in, maybe instead you have a colored line following the person in that little mini map when someone sends someone into the blast zone. You know what would also be really cool? If they they do that for the smoke clouds, or they literally give you an option to like turn it off. That would actually that's a great that's actually probably the best idea I've heard so far, actually, yeah. is having a toggle for it. Nintendo yeah. toggles are a great idea. Implement more of them. We everyone loves the stage hazard toggle y'all are about to put into the game. We, yeah, we, and the and the battlefield omegas. I think that's that's awesome as well. The battlefield one less so for me. I'm yeah, oh, really? I, I I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's not yeah. my favorite thing. Battlefield is not yeah, my fa it. my favorite type of stage transformation. I actually really like dynamic strangers. I. I don't. I hate Smashville, but I like the other Animal Crossing stage. I don't remember what it's called. Town and City. Yeah, I love. I think it's Town and City, right? Yeah, Town and City. I, I like that stage. I too. love Town and City. And oh really? Obviously, it's like some. It's kind of a weird gimmicky stage, but it's like such like a decent weird gimmicky stage. The only gimmick about it is that the platforms kind of like move around at semi-random intervals, right? At least it's not yeah. like Lilac Cruise where the ledge is like an inch long and the whole stage is tilting. You know, like my brain. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what do you think about the slow slow mo effect? Like, do you think, like, speaking of eight? Oh, the zo the zoom in effect that's purely cosmetic, perfectly fine. I love it. It makes things more hype, yeah. actually, dude. That first. But, like, what do you think's gonna happen in like eight player Smash if like like how does that exactly work? Because it doesn't work about... in free for alls. It only works oh, it in doesn't? one. Okay. It only happens oh, in one v ones and only on the final stock when they think you should die from the move. Even though some we've seen some of the times it's wrong, it like thinks that you're gonna die, but you can still live. Yeah, yeah. sometimes it thinks it's wrong, but you know it's allowed to be yeah. wrong. It's going to be an algorithm. People have directional influence. They're gonna survive when the yeah. game thinks you die. I kind I of... really liked it too. I thought it was so hype, uh, like watching it. Like I was yeah. just like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Especially like, uh, like bouncing fish, for example, with Sheik. Like it just Dude, makes it look that so much first cooler. set of like. Of Zero versus MK Leo, where they did Sheik versus Snake, and Zero does yeah. the bouncing fish on Snake at the top of the stage at the very end after that whole comeback. That zoom in was yeah. like perfect. <laughs> that was such an uh, yeah, awesome. Was... Like, th I so think cool. it was a great job. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay, cool, cool. Like, so, I think um... Nintendo has done so much right. Like, 
visually yeah. in this game, I have nothing wrong visually. Like the smoke clouds are like the most I have to complain about. Everything else looks stunning yeah. in the game. Like, but they've always done a really good job at optimizing the game engines they work in. So, I mean, like when you look at melee or brawl, like the only ugly looking Smash game is Smash sixty four. But I mean, that's only yeah, by to, I mean, that's only by today's standards. In that day and era, that was like those were good graphics at that time period. So, yeah. So um, I can't really think of. Are there any of effects that I'm like missing? Or let, like, let me like let me think about things? different things. Uh, okay. Well, I'll talk about a small elephant in the room, which is Bayo. Um, <laughs> uh, obviously, we saw Plup get kind of wombo combo to the top of the screen a few times on Ridley, and yep. there's a bunch of factors that went into it. Yes, he had no jumps. Yes, he was a big character. Yes, it was a small ceiling. I understand all of that still probably shouldn't be a thing. And I think one of my friends said a genius idea, which was rework Bayo's up B. Bayo should just have a completely different up B that she can't move afterward, and she doesn't deal damage with it. Because right That's now, Bayo cool. has, like, no weaknesses yeah. in terms of, like, her moves are pretty fast. She's got long range. She gets an extreme combo game. Like, she doesn't have a weakness. And she's, like, she's a god off stage. There's no edge guarding that bitch. So yeah. I think she's fast. So I think giving her an up B that doesn't have a hitbox and she can't move afterward. God forbid you have so many characters that have up Bs like that. Like Bayo should be one of them. Bayo already still she'll still have range, she'll still have kill power, she'll still have combos. She just won't get guaranteed she won't get semi guaranteed zero to death, and she won't have an amazing recovery. But I think Nintendo wants those gone from her anyway. So yeah, I, I did hear, like, rumors that, like, Sakurai was, like, shaking his head. That's not a rumor. That's, like, an actual thing that happened. That actually happened? Okay. Yeah, no, that was, like, literally <laughs> someone, someone like, <laughs> tweeted it as it happened sort of thing. Like, he, he was, God. like, tweeting earlier. He was, like, oh, I'm so excited. I get to sit to the, next to Sakurai, like, while we watch this. And then afterward, he tech tweeted and was, like, oh, my God, I saw Sakurai shake his head when Plump got comboed by Veo. <laughs> and, and then like funny. the funny thing is is the audience was booing when that happened too like no the audience yeah. did not like did, i think the reason mk leo didn't play uh bayonetta for the rest of it is he didn't feel like getting booed i almost think nintendo told him not to do it but i don't have proof of that and that's just probably pure speculation i figured he just decided he wanted to show what he could do no, Literally. he just decided. He decided if he was gonna win, he'd rather have it. Like he didn't want people Guaranteed to be like, "Oh, yeah. look, it was because he played Bayo," sort of thing, like sort of stupid thing. Like, I mean, people are bitches. Yeah. And I don't. I don't think he should have gone for it like that. But I think, I, he he did enough. He has officially saved Smash Ultimate because he fucked up. He fucked up Plop in this right now. So he gets. This, <laughs> so he saved the health of Smash Ultimate with this. Let me think. So. I talked about hit stun. I talked about the balloon effect. I talked about not shield. I don't think shield stuns the issue. Lack of aerial lag is perfectly fine. Edge guarding as a whole is better. I'm looking forward to trying to play it. Obviously, there are so many characters. It's going to be such an interesting experience. For yeah, sure. how did how do you feel about that? Like when you found out that it was all the characters, were, were you like everyone else? Like, like, or did you see it coming? Or I don't know. Like. How did you feel about that? Like, okay, so my initial <laughs> instinct is like, so it was really funny when like Snake was shown, and then he said, and then it typed in in slow letters, "Everybody Real, is here," yeah. and I was like, "No!" And Rob was like, "Wait, what's wrong?" I'm like, "God damn it, Cloud and Bayo are back!" And then they showed yeah, Cloud yeah. and Bayo, <laughs> and they showed Cloud and Bayo. I was like, "God damn it!" I didn't want to see those two characters back, but yeah. I mean, so Cloud, it looks like they nerfed a lot. So and they made it so that his limit only lasts 15 seconds once he gets it. So he doesn't just hold yeah. on to it forever. So I think I think they're doing a good job. I really appreciate what Nintendo's going for. And I think their end goal is great. Nintendo, please, for the love of God, make this game a little bit better so that Melee fucking dies. I'm so done with this goddamn game. Wait, I so you actually want, like, like, I mean, I'm fine with it too, but I'm just curious. So... If Melee could die and this game became like the main Smash game, that that would be awesome. Yes, that would be great. Yeah, I would I, I would love it. Please kill I, Melee. I, 
Honestly, I, I agree. And I hope that, yeah, I hope they can. Yes. Now, do I think it will happen? Things. No. I think no. I think yeah. they're I think they're stupid. I think they're bad. I think they hold on to <laughs> arbitrary ar ideals and they won't fucking do it because they yeah. are they're like, oh, we don't want to cave into this community that we don't think should exist. Fuck you. Yeah. If you want if you want success, you gotta you gotta blow other people for it sometimes. Like you just do. Yeah. And like you get, and you're and honestly, we're the ones buying your game. And obviously, it's your game. And I'm not gonna force you to do anything. And really. It's me asking you. Like, you don't have to do shit for me, for the most part. But the thing is, is if you don't make it good enough, Melee is going to live, and that's going to contest your numbers for the entirety of Smash Ultimate. And, and then eventually, that... Smash Ultimate will probably kind of die down a little bit. Yeah, it's like, like you, you, you guys should have already noticed this trend. This trend has happened twice. Like, yeah, it happened with Brawl, obviously, and y'all can make, and y'all can be like, Smash okay, Boy. that was a coincidence. Like, you know, Brawl was really bad. We messed up. Well, guess what Brawl did? Brawl, if you, if Smash Four had come out instead of Brawl, Melee would be dead. But you guys messed up, and you kept Melee around for too long, and now you have to try really hard to kill Melee now. And I'm and I hate it because I really wish it was just dead and I could have moved on already, but I can't. I I have high hopes for the for Ultimate. Like, I have actually... some hopes. I don't. I I'm trying to hold back my hopes because yeah, the more yeah. hopes, because yeah, if you get like two, if you like get too like into it, like oh yeah, it's gonna be great, and then you could be let down like, so bad. Yeah, which is part of the reason why I'm kind of excited for trying the demo at CEO. Which, by the way, if people in this chat, I don't think I don't know how many people like that actually do Smash stuff are chilling in here. It doesn't look like very much, but if um. I'm going to be at CEO, so if people are interested, I will be there. You can play Melee with me, and I'm really, really looking forward to playing. So Smash they're going to have the demo at CEO? They are having a demo at CEO. There's going to be an official Nintendo booth, and at least oh, one of the yeah. days, I'm going to wake up extremely early to get to the demo as early as possible. And uh, when is CEO? Because I actually might... It is it the 29th through, like, the 1st. So not this weekend, but the next coming weekend. Uh, I don't think I can make that one. Yeah, Jeez. it's unfortunate. I'm sorry, buddy. Wait, um, 20, 29th through the 1st? Yeah. Of this month. Actually. Yeah, I'm but, uh, but registration is literally going to close in about an hour and 50 minutes, so... Yeah, but I can but but I can buy a what is it called like a spectator pass or whatever, and will I be able to still go to the booth? I have abs absolutely. They they probably that's probably... yeah. That's all I would want to do honestly. Yeah. Is just like get a chance to like see it. And, you would obviously I mean, need your you, you would need your own hotel room, obviously. But I mean, you already I know, yeah, I, I, I know yeah. you're not hurting for money, <laughs> so so I know you're fine. God forbid <laughs> this guy's so awesome for. Anyone, uh, the, I could, I wasn't planning on attending Evo one year because of how much it costs. And then he was like, "Here, you can have my hotel. I'll get a two-bedroom hotel room. You can come into the boat hotel with me." Which, by the way, it was the fucking Lipton, which is awesome, by the way. And he was like, yeah. "I'll let you in there. It, you just have to get there." And so I flew my ass there, and I was there. And then I turned into a little bitch that weekend because I lost really early. But whatever. You remember when you got that uh, that huge drink? I do. I have I have a picture of that that still. Yeah, that was that was awesome. Yeah. No, it was a, it was a fun time. I had a good time at uh at Evo. I talk about it all the time, and I actually uh, eventually. I, I, I really wish I had hung out with friends more often at Evo. I kind of I kind yeah, of flopped yeah. that a little bit. I was banking a lot on doing well in the tournament and then when the tournament didn't go well i went kind of emo mode and i just that, that was bad on my part so yeah, i was so, trying to by the way if you cause... ever go to evo make evo the experience don't expect evo to be the experience for you it just as a random general hint from me but uh so yeah the only... like overall it was the worst tournament i had ever been to and i hadn't been to many but then but it was the best experience as far as like, I mean, just it's Las Vegas. Las, Las Vegas yeah, is gonna be Las fun Vegas. if you make Las Vegas fun. So okay, before, so, so yeah, the, la the to, last, the last conclude thing I'm gonna talk about is characters I'm looking forward to in the new game. And okay. uh, Pokemon Trainer, yeah. I'm actually really excited for Pokemon Trainer. It looks really dope. I'm looking forward to Mewtwo still. Mewtwo is my main character in Smash 4. I hope Corrin's a little bit faster, kind of like of when she was originally released. I liked Corrin. Marth actually looked kind of sick. I'll probably try Marth again. I mean, I'll try almost all the characters. Another character I'm really excited for is actually Pichu. 
because when really? Pichu was made in Melee, he was made as a joke character. And I hope they don't make him a joke character again. Well, he does still damage himself, so... I'm, but, but, but maybe the moves are better. Maybe you, get to, yeah. maybe you only damage yourself when you press B plus A at the same time. Like, there's so many random ways that you can True. implement that mechanic. So... And I believe in, and I want to believe in Nintendo that they're going to do it, and that all the characters are going to be unique and interesting, with the exception of the Echo Fighters. But that's like a whole thing, different thing entirely that I'm not going to get in on. What uh, what did what did you think about Ridley? We didn't really talk about that. Yeah, whatever. Was it a, was I, it a, you were just like whatever? I, he's really whatever to me. Like I'm not, okay. a, I'm not a Metroid fan. I don't really care. Gotcha. Okay. Like, okay. I, I, I'm just glad he got in so that uh, so that people would shut the fuck up about him. But God, now it's like it's just endless. <laughs> wa- it's he all I'm hearing. All I'm hearing. In. All I'm hearing right now is Waluigi, Waluigi, and Isaac from Golden Sun or something. I've never played a Golden Sun game, so I don't really give a fuck about Isaac. I'm sorry, puppy, because I know. Golden Honestly, Sun. King K. Rule should fucking get in before whatever Isaac or whatever, and even probably Waluigi. Honestly, but I, I don't know. That's just how I feel. I just I don't. That's... I just don't give a shit about Waluigi. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but I okay. think that, I think are you interested in any characters? Like, what characters are you interested in? So, actually, I'm really interested in Zelda, partly because I really like the, the art. The I'm, art I'm style a, they're doing. Yeah, I am a huge, huge Zelda fan, like diehard. Like, if a Zelda game comes out, it, the Switch could have cost five thousand dollars, and I would have bought it. Like, that's how much of a Zelda fan I am. And um, uh, yeah, like the 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 link between world Zelda is. I think it's perfect. Like, I, yeah, I love that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try her. Um, I'm interested in Inkling because Inkling looks really fast and just like fun to mess with. And then um, obviously Rosalina. I'm gonna try Rosalina because I like Rosalina in Smash Four. And I'm gonna try Peach and Daisy um, just to see like what they're like because if I mean if they're more melee like, then I'll definitely play. I'll, I'll main Peach, but I'll just have to see. Those are what I'm excited for. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's. I'm definitely looking forward to. Every, I'm right looking forward. I'm looking up. forward to it all. I'm just. I have my concerns. I've listed my concerns. My concerns, pretty much, just being hit stun and the balloon effect. That's real. Those are those are my real concerns. I think having movement be a little bit better would be good. I think that's really it for me. Like, it just, like, I don't need the characters to be balanced. I don't need, like, everyone to be viable. I don't need wave dashing. I don't need L canceling. I don't need, I don't need so much. I just really need the game to, I need, okay. Feel good. Yeah, I need the game to feel good. I need, I need, uh, I need to feel like I can do different stuff. And then, in all honesty, the final part of it all is that I need it to be fun. And, like, yeah, when you get sure. to high-level Smash 4, they do a really good job at sucking out the fun of the game. And maybe that's just me. Yeah. And maybe it comes from me being a Melee player, so my opinion of fun is different from other people's of fun opinion of fun. But... For sure. A couple of things just popped in my head, though, that I, I kind of want to ask you, and it's more character-specific, but what do you think about, for example, like, Link, like, Breath of the Wild Link, the, the remote bombs? I know, like, a uh, I lot mean, of so I think I think they really just they had to push the envelope when they're having three different Link characters. They're gonna have Link, Young Link, and Toon Link. They're gonna have to make all the characters different. So, for example, Link does not have a grapple anymore. If you didn't see, yeah, he doesn't have a grapple. He has like the remote detonation bombs. He can pick up his own arrows. I don't know what that means for the rest of the cast. We will see over time. But he can still grab though, right? I never actually saw him. Yes, he can grab. He can grab and he can still throw. He just can't grapple. He doesn't have the long range tether grapple. And I'm pretty sure Young Link and Toon Link will probably still have it. So they got to make all the characters different. So how do you feel about? Um, I mean, just the changes we know. So like Ganondorf using sword for his smash attacks, things like that. Does does it not really matter at all? Like, are, do you think it's really cool? I think it's, I think it's cool. Like, yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, Gandorf using his sword for his smash attacks. Yeah, that's really cool. Good job. I kind of wish they maybe made him use his sword for a bit more things. Like, just maybe some more things. Because I kind of, it feels sad that it's like, they just kind of limited it to only his smash attacks. But I mean, whatever. At least he's using it for once. Next thing they're going to do is in the 
Smash 6, they're going to have Falcon actually pull the gut out of his holster and do something with that. So <laughs> That'd be sweet. Uh, I'm not um, sure. So I, I don't want to see Falcon with short hop lasers. <laughs> no, it would just, it'd be like a charge-up laser. It'd be like a Falcon Punch laser. I'm not sure, but maybe. We'll see. Right. But, um... So, as far as stages go, like, um, do you think that there's going to be more legal stages? There should uh, be, simply because of that stage hazard toggle we talked about a while ago. There really yeah. should be. And there's a lot of people talking about a lot of different things. People don't realize that, like, when Smash 4 happened, there were, like, 11 legal stages at first. Like, at the... It, like, even after it had been out for two years, there was, like, 11 legal stages. And at the end, it, like, got reduced to, like, five... Or, or something, or five, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something ridiculously like a lower amount of legal stages than melee. And How much does melee have? I was six. Think, yeah. six. Okay, yeah, yeah. five yeah, neutrals like... and then Pokemon Stadium. So but when melee started, it was like every stage, right? Or there no? are a lot of stages in melee, yeah. But I mean, yeah. over time, people kind of realize like, well, we have to remove these stages because of Fox. We have to remove these stages because of Fox. We have to remove these stages because of Pikachu <laughs> of Jigglypuff. We have to remove these stages because of Fox. We have to remove this stage because of Captain Falcon, like. Yeah. There are too many of those stages where it's just like when character when pe people we finally decided that if you have to fight the stage more than the opposing character that it's a problem. So that's yeah. that's like the general rule we came down to. So the formula wasn't perfected in melee. So by the time Smash 4 came around the formula was better. And also a lot of the stages in Smash 4 were pretty similar to that of like Brawl. So we kind of knew instinctively which stages just shouldn't be allowed because of Brawl. And what do you think that now what do you think about that now when you uh like get into the game? Like before it would be used select character and then go to stage select selection. I think that I think that's a, that's a that's a casual change. I don't think that's going to change anything competitively because all that's going to yeah, happen because you're just going to change you're just going to choose the stage um, that should be another toggle. Yeah, that yeah. should be another toggle. Yeah, that should definitely be a toggle. <laughs> that should definitely be another toggle. Because I feel like it's going to get confusing then, right? Like how, I don't know, how would it, like, I like... I, I, okay, so I will give it to them. It would make me feel so much better. Like, because sometimes I'll play Melee and I like playing Samus. But every time I pick Samus, I press start and I'm like, I hope to God I don't get Battlefield this game because I can't because I get stuck under the ledges on Battlefield when you ledge hop as Samus. So yeah. every time I play Samus, I'm like, please, for the love of God, just not be Battlefield. I will play on like my worst stage as long as I can like ledge hop properly. So that is removed when with this way of doing it. But in tournaments, I think all that's going to happen... I still think we're going to do characters and then stages first. It's just going to be awkward because we're going to have to pick a stage first. And then we're going to pick our characters. And then we're going to have to go back to the stage selection. And then we have to press start twice before we get into the actual match. I think. Yeah, I guess that's not too bad. But yeah, that's. It, I wish there was a toggle because yeah, yeah that could be... So annoying. hopefully it's a toggle is all it comes down to. But yeah, so... I think that's hits that's hit more than enough. I think after so yeah, so I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna definitely stop this. Thank you guys for chilling. If you have any more questions, you can hit me up on Twitter. At, it's just Arti I think it's at Articanus still. Yeah, it is still at Articanus. You can hit me up anywhere. You can find me on Discord. You can come to my stream, which is twitch.tv slash Arctic underscore anus because when I changed my tag that one time, it wouldn't let me change it back. So I had to figure out a way around it, and that decided to be my way around it. So thank you guys for chilling. Hope you guys, I see you guys in the future. Later.